where it has the pigmented draw tight, and it was installed with a clay base vinyl adhesive. Ready? Ready. Okay, now I'll do it the wrong way. So he's, he's trying to pull it off so that it's uh, as strong a test as we can make. Instead of pulling it off at a low angle, he's pulling it off at a high angle. And uh, he's not getting it to separate. There, we've separated the backing from the, from the vinyl, but he didn't, uh, he didn't get the fiber well, to separate. Okay, that vinyl is separating. You'd have to wet that to get that. There you go. Now, I, no, wait, wait, stop. I want to talk about a particular question that Jim Grumley brought up. I don't know where he is in the audience right now. He was asking just about this kind of a situation. And I told him if you start at a seam, when you're pulling cloth back vinyl, and if you start pulling right from where you know the previous installer has scored the paint, probably scored into the, into the uh, drywall. If you'll take and cut down that way, and pull away from the seam, and then just pull the last piece that's next to the seam towards the seam, Pull it towards the seam, then you're not going to pull loose where you know that they've already sliced into the drywall. Is that clear? Or should I explain it again? Again, this is a this was another double cut, so I would cut the wall, and pull it towards the seam, and then you're not going to be lifting up. Oh, came here to find out if this was a wallpaper primer or had the, the potential to be a wallpaper primer and I see everybody, I see Ken's nod, nodding his head up and down. I even saw another Ken's head nodding his head up and down. <laughs> With the San Diego chapter. By the way everybody, this is the president of the San Diego chapter of the National hey. the Professional Paper Hangers. Thank you very much. Would the San Diego chapter have some other way since there's further south from us? Okay. Um, I've used this on several applications. I've used it on poorer latex paint where it's chalky, and I've gone just used the clear and it's worked really well. I've had no separation. I've even double cut on it. It hasn't separated. I had a situation where I had a substrate. I pulled out the first layer of the vinyl. I sealed over the substrate, and we primed over it. I did a test session first and pr primed it, stripped the rest of the room, Went back, checked it, did a fingernail test. None of it wanted to separate. I took a sponge, re-wetted it, tried to get it wet to separate. Went back to my fingernail, still couldn't separate. We primed over the walls, installed the wall covering, no problem. I'm very impressed by this product at this point. Thank you, Michael. Okay, uh, the only other thing I wanted to, to volunteer, the, uh, first, let's talk about this, this drywall mud over here that's starting to dry just a little bit around the edges. And I don't see any bubbles on that surface. I just, that's the part that's a miracle. Uh, one thing I need to explain, that when I made these samples, I uh, have to admit that when I made these samples, I made them outdoors. Some of my samples I left out overnight, face side up, in the dew. The drywall mud got wet, stayed wet for 12 hours on top of the primer. No, That's it, fine. <laughs> still no bubbling. Okay.
and effort went into what he did today and how many weeks he spent writing this up so that he could present it in a format that we could all understand that was certainly, I think, fair. Charles, was this a fair test to your product? Uh, more than fair. <laughs> <laughs> Mike, I, I could count on. That's why I brought, I, I, Mike and I got together, and uh, uh, and he said, "Hey, I want to test your stuff." And I, uh, I knew if it could pass Mike's test, uh, it could pass anybody's test. Thank you. Okay, we'll wrap this up for today. Just another normal meeting of the uh, LA chapter of the uh, NGPP. And thank you all for coming, and uh, we'll continue on. Thank you.